and welcome to Otaku No Video. As always, thanks for joining me, although I'm not sure that you're going to be happy with me this time. I'm here with a review of Seikan no Quasar. I recently watched episodes 1 through 4? 1 through 4, yes. Um, couldn't even keep track. Most of them. It's that bad. And you know I don't like value words. This anime kind of makes me angry. Basic premise, it's a shonen ecchi series. So, the main character is this young boy who is the chosen one, who pulls out this scythe out of nowhere and fights bad guys who are trying to take over the world and wear um, cloaks. Ooh. And the thing is, he and they are powered off of breast milk. Breast milk. But, it, like, not bottled, it has to be drunk direct from the source, right before the battle. It's exactly what you think it is. And, look, I'm a Tenchi fan. I have no problem with fan service. You know, nudity, all that, you know, oops, I, I, you know, what happened to my towel? You know, fine. This is pandering. Because, on the one hand, it tries to be this serious, dark shonen title of this cursed boy who has to carry on this thing. And he, was, he has this horrible scar on his face because the, the bad guy you know, cut him up. And uh, you know, it, it tries to be that. And, 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 and then you get ri not just ridiculous reasons to, to, to show characters. Because it's not funny. It's... it's Showing as much nudity as possible because they seem to think that if they show naked breasts, we're going to tune in. I, I cannot come up with any other reason for the amounts of nudity in here and the fact that it's not even fun, funny fan service. It, it's just, you know, throwing things at you and trying to be as extreme as possible um, without turning into total hentai. Now, some of you may have been watching Quasar and wondering what the heck I'm talking about. It's because in their infinite wisdom, um, they're producing this uncensored version. When it goes um, to be to, to actual broadcast, they're actually, they just cut out the scenes with nudity, or the shots with nudity. No censoring, no nothing, they just don't show that bit of the show. Now this is a show where the character powers up with breast milk. As you can imagine, the censored version is incomprehensible. There's a lot of stuff that just, you know, they just cut from one thing to the next. You're like, wait, wait, why were they talking about it? Why did we just stop? Ugh. Then you watch this, the uncensored version, and there's all this just tossing stuff at you. Now, to give you an idea, as of episode four, this preteen girl, who is one of the uh, fighters... Um, essentially blackmails this other girl who looks to be about 14 or so into becoming like her personal slave and the 14 year old girl's reward for following the preteen girl's actions is performing oral sex on the preteen girl on camera now like, you don't see genitals or anything but you know they, they cut around it but it's very clear that's what's going on uh, what? And it is very clear they're doing this just for shock value. You know, they're trying to come up with reasons to appeal to our basis instincts for something that is, I'm sorry, crap. This is just... Okay, there are some very well animated fight sequences. High sheet count, dynamic, nice color work, good job. The characters, there's nothing going on with the characters. The characters exist to react in shock to things. That's what they do for the vast majority of the episodes. Oh, that's really what I want to tune in for. Um, the bad guys are just sort of nameless, faceless, random bad guys who apparently are trying to do something bad that no one ever explains. Um, or you get little new mysterious bits. <clears throat> Again, I wouldn't mind fan service if there's something more here. And if the fan service wasn't a blatant attempt to just get a rise out of people, so to speak. Now, this isn't helped by the fact that, again, 
the setting and situation is just very you know, generic, random, you know, high school type place. Um, there are some characters who are a little unusual, but that that's, I mean, a little. The reality sort of bounces around. Characters get away with the wildest things with no one seeming to notice, uh, or just them just getting away with it. Um, the characters are generally archetypes. No, not just archetypes, they are stereotypes. Yeah, all the way around. Um, I mentioned, you know, it has a pretty high budget. That's all well and good. They use it well for the fight sequences and for showing erect nipples. Um, and again, I don't, I don't mind showing fan service. I've seen a lot of fan service in my time. That's cool. But when it's just there for shock value and the anime itself is crap, I get angry, uh, as you can tell. Cinematography is kind of bland. We've seen all this you know, done over and you know, not trying anything special there. Voice acting is fine. The writing is just this confused mess. Um, music is, I mean, everything else is just, it, okay, it, it's your normal everyday anime show, which would be fine if it weren't for this. They're insulting our intelligence. They're saying, you're going to tune in because we're going to flash naked breasts at you. And that's what will keep you here. Flashing naked breasts and having and and and, and just showing you know ex various extreme things like this, I'm insulted. I, I this is a a blot on on anime. And now now I'm sure there are some of you who are watching it for entertainment purposes. Fine, no problem. You know I I, I can understand where you just sort of sit back and let it wash over you. Mm, mm. I do not want that in my... I don't want somebody sitting there telling me, um, you know, we're going to just throw this at you and you're going to like it. <sighs> Summary. Well-animated fight scenes. Well-animated breasts and crap. That is Seikon no Quasar.